Hi ladies, it's your girl Remy, your image consultant based in Bolton United Kingdom. Today, I want to share some tips with you, some things that I really need you to pay attention to as a godly, elegant woman. Things that will truly help you to attain true elevation, not just movement, but actual growth that can be tracked. Now, let's go right into it. Number one, I need you to stop saying yes to things that add no value or purpose to your journey. I understand that it's important to be kind. And yes, this is one of the fruits of the spirit that is slated out for us in Galatians. But there's a difference between being kind and just wanting to be liked. I need you to always intentionally be sure that you're saying yes to things for the right reasons. Because a lot of times you're saying yes just because you want to be liked, you don't want to be seen as this or that, and your motive is totally wrong. It's important that you're saying yes to things that are purposeful, that are kind, that are thoughtful, and for the right reasons. So from now, I need you to think, why am I saying yes? Is it for the right reasons? Number two, I need you to start focusing on actions that produce good fruits. At the same time, I need you to focus and cut out any action that is bearing any bad fruit in your life. Because at the end of the day, it's important that you channel your energy into things that help you become better. What do I mean? So focus on actions that help you to procrastinate less, that help you to love better, that help you to really be all that God created you to be. At the same time, if you find that there are some actions or people that you're working with that make you become a worse person, they make you drink, they make you smoke, you find that when you're around these people, you're always doing the opposite of what you need to be doing. It's time to evaluate these relationships and cut off where you need to cut off. And if you have people that push you to become better. I know sometimes those kind of relationships can feel uncomfortable because you're thinking, what is it now? Is it not my life? Why is she always asking me to pray? Why is she always asking me to do this and do that? But remember that it's for your own good. Those are the kind of actions that I need you to encourage, focus on, and ensure that you keep close to you because these ones help you thrive. Number three, this is a link to number two. I need you to know the kind of association that your future needs. Now, the first thing is, have you even asked God to give you the blueprint of your life? Do you know where God is taking you? If you don't know where you're going, how do you know the kind of instruments that you need to get to where you're going? It's just like saying, I want to build a house. What kind of house do you want to build? Is your bungalow? Is your duplex? Is it detached? Is it terrace? You need to know what you want to build because this will help you know the kind of instruments, the kind of people that you need to achieve this dream. It's the same thing with your life. Know where you're going so that you can begin to build an association of people that will help you move forward because for every stage of your life, you need different people, you need different skills, you need different kinds of strengths. And it's important to know so that when people come into your life, you know what season you're in and you know exactly why they are here. Because a lot of times I find that in friendships, we get burnt because we, we just imagine that, oh, this person is my friend and she's meant to be here for the next 20 years. But on the other hand, that person is just meant to be there for six months, one year, just to help you through that season. It doesn't mean that you become enemies. It just means that you've outgrown that stage. That person moves on. You move on. There is no hurt. There is no anger or misunderstanding. This is why it's important that you know the association that your life needs per time. Number four, I need you to begin to build habits that will help you navigate towards the you know, purpose of your life. You know why you're here on earth. 
what habits do you need to build? What habits do you need to develop? So for some of you, your anger, oh my God, your, your threshold is so little. You can't just stand certain things, but God needs you to build perseverance because you're going to be working with a lot of people. Now you need to work on that because that hot temperedness that you see as this is who I am, is something that the enemy has planted in you to truncate the purpose for your life because he knows that that thing should not be there. So he helps you to enhance it. He keeps bringing people that would upset you. And what you find is you're just building up offense and you're pulling further away from your purpose. So you need to develop habits that will help you grow. What are the habits that I need to build? What are the things that need to be consistent in my life to ensure that I am constantly walking, walking towards my purpose, not moving farther away from it. It's important that you pay attention to this. Be intentional, create boards if you have to, so that you're ensuring that you're doing what you need per time for your life. Number five, I need you to believe that your life can turn around suddenly for the best. You see, sometimes I find that we say a lot of things, but we don't believe it. You really want your life to turn around. You want God to bless you. And then it happens. You begin to doubt or you're like, can it really happen? Listen, you need to believe for it. Okay. Because the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock, the door shall be opened unto you. You need to understand that after you have suffered a while, the Lord is set Okay, to perfect, to establish, to strengthen and to settle you. This is the word of God. So you must be ready that for that turnaround, for that supernatural turnaround, for things to really work out for you. Because you must remember, you've been doing a lot behind the scenes. You've been praying behind the scenes. You've been crying behind the scenes. You've gone through so many different stages of your life. So why... All of a sudden, do you think it's sudden that good things are happening to you? Listen, you've been hit by the devil back to back. Get ready for God to also hit you with goodness back to back. Believe it. Be ready for it. And when it comes, embrace it because God can be trusted. My final point today is this. Get uncomfortable to get comfortable. Move out of that complacency. Move out of all that, you know, place that just makes you feel that, yeah, I don't need to do anything. I just need to sit down. This is what everybody's doing. I need to do it. No, for you to really thrive as a godly, elegant woman, you need to understand that just like the people you have read of in the Bible, the Esthers, the Davids, you know, all of these people, the Josephs, something had to happen. They had to get uncomfortable for God to really place them in the place of manifestation. So I need you to come out of that laziness, that complacency and everything that has held you down because you must understand that paying attention to the important things is what will really help you to move forward and thrive as an elegant lady. Ladies, this is where I'm going to be stopping this video today. I really do hope you found this helpful. I'd like to hear down below, what have you learned today? Will you be implementing or do you have any other things you want to add to this list that I've given us today? Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.